I want to explain something. So people think a home button is a downgrade, the headphone jack is nice, all that good stuff, right? Let me tell you why I think the 6S is the best iPhone and going from any iPhone to the 6S on iOS 12 is an automatic upgrade. So, people say the home button is a downgrade. Think of it like this. You have Touch ID. Um, with Face ID, if your cousin or your mother has the same face as you, they can access, they can purchase and download apps. They can access, like they can unlock your iPhone. They can get into everything because they would have the same face as you. No single person on this planet has the same fingerprint as you do. So, Touch ID is way more secure than Face ID. And, yes, I know they have updates. It works without a mask. Um, but, I personally think the home button is better for that reason. Now, Apple claimed and lied that the swipe gestures are faster than the home button. I have done test. The home button is ever so slightly faster. And if you're like really quick about it, you know, which would be hard to do with one hand um, and recording. The home button is ever so slightly faster than the swipe gestures. Because think about it. You have to swipe up and hold. And with the home button, you just bam, bam, and then boom, there it is. Now, obviously, this is an iPhone 6, not a 6S. It's on iOS 12. Because of all the updates, it's really slow. And that's another thing. People say the 6S is slow. The 6S is not slow. The 6S is a pretty, it's a decently powerful iPhone. The reason it is slow is because you updated it to iOS 15. And that's where, like running Genshin Impact all the time on the iPhone. And that's what slows it down. Um, and plus, th um, it's not actually that slow on iOS 15. I've used iPhones, um, 6S's on iOS 15. They are not slow. Now, when running games and stuff on iOS 15, yeah, obviously it's going to be slower. But you would be surprised how fast a 6S would be on iOS 12 or below. And on iOS 9... It's as fast, if not faster, than the new 13s. Another thing. People think this design of the bezels is dated. I love having the bezels. I hate that my Android phone doesn't have this. Um, the Pixel has this. And that's one thing that I love about it. Having these nice big bezels. Because I don't make accidental taps with that. With the full screen iPhone I would I make accidental touches and stuff like literally I was playing Fortnite on one bef when it worked and I accidentally um swiped up and went home and that was when I didn't know any I wasn't a tech geek I didn't know what I did um and it was complete accident this you have a home button that will always be here it's out of the way of the screen and it's an area to grip those are three, like, hardcore killer benefits right there. So no matter what happens, no matter if your app goes wrong or whatever, you can click that and you're home. Um, and it's out of the way. It's not going to get in your way. It's not going to obscure your screen like it would on Android phones where it's digital. Um, and plus, it's easy to access. You know, it's right here. Out of the way, easy to access, and I know swipe gestures can be that way too. Um, another thing, 3D Touch, and a lot of people say it's useless or it's dead. Now, the thing I've gone over it millions of times, but I'll go over it again. Um, with haptic touch, you, and this doesn't have haptic touch because that's on iOS 13 and newer. This is on iOS 12, but it has some things that it has. Um, you can press and hold for app shortcuts. You can preview things. Um, you can do this with the keyboard as well as select text by touching, which can be annoying. With Now, one thing and that 
3D Touch can do is that same thing, but it can trigger it from anywhere on the keyboard because it's done by pressure, not pressing and holding the space bar. You can trigger it. And another thing that 3D Touch does, the haptic touch, well, it does it, but it takes forever, is when I go to delete something, it will speed up eventually. See? You see how long that takes? With 3D Touch, all you do is press hard, and it deletes that fast instantly. So 3D Touch is so much faster than Haptic Touch. Haptic takes one second to trigger. 3D Touch is like that. Instant. And um, another thing you can do with 3D Touch, unfortunately, this isn't a 6S. It doesn't have it. Only 6S and 10S Max in between have it. Is you can trigger the app switcher. Yes. On the iPhone 6S, when your home button fails, you can still use it because of 3D Touch. That is how powerful it is. Um, you press hard on the edge of the screen and you would like swipe over and you could like trigger into the app switcher. Or if you swipe all the way over it, you can like swipe through your apps, your two most recent apps. Another thing 3D Touch does that Haptic Touch doesn't is pressure sensitive drawing. Where the harder you press, the darker the lines, the softer you press, the less dark the lines. Now, other than that, you know, previewing things, um, haptic touch can do that. Um, but again, 3D touch triggers it instantly while haptic touch takes a second. And that may not seem like... And you may think, oh, a second, that's not that long or that's not that painful. But for people like me, that time adds up and it adds up pretty quickly like it would be fine with maybe after a few days but after a while it gets pretty annoying <laughs> it's like oh i just wish it was so much faster it's so slow it takes forever i'd be sitting here waiting a week for the thing to come up um i mean at that point you might as well just not even use shortcuts but with 3d touch you're there i mean you can like all, it do, all you have to do is, like, if you memorize where the shortcut is, like, oh, I want to go to a Discord server. Boom, I'm in that server. And a lot of people say they don't want to trade battery life and performance and screen. Now, screen, yes, the 6S is an LCD. It's not an OLED. It's not going to have pure blacks. It's going to be 1080p instead of whatever. It's not going to have high refresh. But iPhones are what I use for media consumption. <laughs> I have Android for those things. Plus, Android just does it better, in my opinion. That's a personal thing. Um, <clears throat> what was I going to say? The, um... I'm trying to think. Also, the 6S has a headphone jack. Which actually gives you better quali audio quality than a dongle. I know because I've heard from people online. And um. Another cool thing you can do. That you saw may have saw me do earlier. Is when your screen dims. You can touch the home button. And it uh. It, it prevents it from turning your screen off. Now with I. With um. You can just touch the screen. But that can be annoying. For me, I mean, I don't know why that bothers me. It does. Um, yeah. Plus, the 6S is smaller. And, you know, people say, why don't you just get a 12 or 13 mini? Again, no 3D touch, no jack, no home button, no bezels. So, nah. I would just rather get a 6S. Um. 3D touch screen the screen i mean like 1080p is still that's full hd that's high enough quality there's no reason to complain about that people are just greedy nowadays um now oh that's right battery life and performance so like i said on ios 15 it will be slower but on older os versions it will be much much faster um and a lot of people don't really take that into consideration um now, battery life, like I said, on iOS 15, even if the performance isn't that bad, your battery life will 
well, you might as well have a capacitor in there and get the same result. <laughs> like, it's, it's horrible. On iOS 12, on a 6S, you would get like 10 times the battery life you would on iOS 15. That might be an... Ex See, it's turning off. I can... It's not going to do anything, but now it is because it's on. Anyways, um, 10 times, that might be an exaggeration, but you're going to get at least twice the battery life you normally would. At least. Um, so yeah, um, getting an older device on older software is a really good thing. And another thing, give me a minute. You see how slow it is? That's from, uh... That's, that's cause this thing's been updated. This was still on, like, iOS 10 or something. It would be so much faster. Um... Let's see, okay, so... Now, previewing content. Photos, videos, and stuff. Yeah, on iOS 12, 9 through 12, it would look like this. You swipe left or right for your options. There's no options on Instagram. And you swipe up for this. Again, this device doesn't have 3D touch. This is built into Instagram. Um, now, on newer devices, I can actually show you what it would look like. That's iOS 13 and above. 3D touching um, gives you the thing. And then 